Have you ever wondered where the vibrant red color in your favorite candies, lipsticks, or drinks comes from? Well, you might be surprised to learn that it's not made in a lab, but rather it's sourced from a tiny insect called the cochineal. Yes, you heard that right. The cochineal insect, a cousin of the aphid, is the secret ingredient behind the carmine red or cochineal red dye, also known by its less glamorous name, E120. This tiny creature, native to Peru, Mexico, and the Canary Islands, is often cultivated on prickly pear trees. The dye is extracted from the body and eggs of the female cochineal insect, particularly before she lays her eggs, a stage known for its color richness. The insect is crushed, dried, and then treated to produce the vibrant red dye we see in many products today. Surprised? Yes, that gorgeous shade of red has a rather unexpected origin. Now that we've piqued your curiosity, how about we delve into the intriguing journey of how cochineal insects turn into this sought-after red dye? Picture this. We're in sunny Peru, Mexico, or the Canary Islands, where these tiny cochineal insects, also known as Dactylopius caucus, are busily living out their lives on the prickly pear tree. You might be surprised to know that the rich, vibrant red dye we're talking about is concentrated in the bodies and eggs of these female insects. How do we extract it? Well, it's a detailed process. First, the female insects are collected before they lay their eggs. This is the stage when they're at their peak of coloring richness. Then, they're crushed and dried. No, it's not the most glamorous job, but it's a crucial part of the process. But we're not done there. To obtain carmine, the purest form of the dye, we need to take it a step further. The powdered insects are immersed in boiling water. The product obtained is then made basic with ammonia or sodium carbonate and treated with aluminum salts. The result? A solid or powdered form of cochineal red or a liquid extract ready to be used in a variety of products. From making food look more appetizing to adding a splash of color to textiles, this dye serves a multitude of purposes. And while the process might sound a little off-putting, remember, it's all natural. In a world where synthetic ingredients are the norm, the use of cochineal red is a nod to the times when we relied on nature for our color palettes. It's a meticulous and time-consuming process, but thanks to these tiny creatures and the skilled individuals who harvest them, we can enjoy the vibrant red hues in our daily lives. So the next time you see something red, remember the intricate process and the tiny creatures that made it possible. Now, you might be wondering, is this bug-based dye safe for us and our little ones? Cochineal red dye, a vibrant and naturally occurring pigment, is notorious for potential allergenic properties. Rare but reported instances include eczema or asthma. When combined to preservative sodium benzoate or E211, it's been associated with hyperactivity in children. With its extensive application, this dye is present in everything from dairy to pastries, ice creams to fruit juices, even red soft drinks. It's cleverly disguised as natural coloring. So while cochineal red dye adds an attractive hue to our favorite items, it's always good to be aware of what we're consuming. After all, knowledge is power, isn't it?